All right, so in the last video, what we did is we made the actual animation for the, we made custom animations and we did the uh, custom graphics for the, the actual animated system right here. So basically what we did is we came in and we said, okay, we made the lines, we made them animated, we made them only visible when the machine is running and we made them all together, right? So we did that in the last video. So now what we're gonna do in the, this video, and again, in Factory Talk version uh, 10, this is a SE side edition, Again, running a client, running an actual, uh, this is the servo uh, course that we are, the, not the servo course, but the servo 30-day uh, video that we did, our 30-day uh, video series that we did. So if you haven't seen that, go back and watch that um, because you, if you want to be interested in how we built that. We're going to add some code here, uh, again, using the actual servo that I have because I actually have this one now hooked up to my actual trainer. Um, this So I do have the trainer servo hooked up to this now. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back and add some code on the very next video. But in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to actually add the animation a little bit better. All right. So we're going to come in here and add some animation. Uh, we're going to use the same animation uh, kind of control, but we're going to do it slightly different. So we're going to come down here to pumps. We're going to grab something like this, one of these, one of these. It doesn't matter. Let's just grab this first one because uh, actually let's not cut it. Um, let's just copy this one and paste it in here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in. Now we're gonna basically segment this out. Okay, so we don't want the screen. We do want that, we do want that. Let's see, yeah, we do want the centers. Uh, and we do want this, but we don't care about this. We don't care about that. We do care about this. We do care about this, because this is showing the screen or this is showing the line up right so this is showing that just like that so if we actually ran this just right now we'd actually see these turning so um, what I want to do is actually animate this the same way we did the other ones right so what we want to do is we're going to come in and use our animation that we did over here we're going to quick, quickly grab one of these we're going to grab the syntax that we did over here this is the on, okay? And we want to just grab one of these and do that. So we want to make sure we grab, we don't want to grab, we don't want to edit each one of these. So this is a, a really uh, intricate one because it's actually done a certain way. So you want to, so you don't want to come in here, you want to edit the whole thing. So we want to make sure we get this out of here. We want to edit the whole thing though, and then come over here in animation, visible, and this is the this is the non-visible. So we want to make that non-visible. This is the visible. So we're going to come in here and say this, and paste that in there, and that will be invisible. This is that, and then this one is going to be this. We're going to paste that in here, paste that in there. Grab that just like that. And we'll put this right back in the center. And then we'll drag this on top of this just to make sure it's the same as it was. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll pop this back out. We'll delete the one we have, right? And we'll come in and throw this in there, in the center. So we can see the, the you know, the actual motor running right so and in this case we can you know we could actually have like a motor actually tied to it or something running or even not delete what we had and tie this in the very center as well you know you could even do something like that if you wanted to so just to see how it looked right now of course we still need to add our complete animation uh, which would be that uh, this would be that run bit, right? So this is the machine run that we had. We need to tie that in there as well. And let's see, make sure we did it. Make sure we actually put that in there. So let's actually come in here. Yeah, it's in there. Good. Okay. So we want to save that real quick. Save it, and then come back in here. Go from shift to screen to screen, so that we get the actual take. Because again, this is an SE, a side edition version. This is Factory Talk uh, 10. So now we're going to have this effect, right? So now as they're running, we're going to get this effect. 
So you see now it's a little bit more custom than it was. It's still kind of, I don't know, doesn't really look uh, with them with them laid over like that. I mean, it looks okay, but again, this is just showing the, the things you can do with this, right? So you can keep adding stuff to it. You can keep doing multiple things. Um, we can even add more lays, uh, you know, lines in here and stuff like that to even get more graphics. But I'm just trying to show you, you can use the graphics that are already there inside of your library that, you know, to use them instead of building your own, right? So just don't, you know, to think about, kind of think outside the box when it comes to that. So if I were to take that, right? And I want to say, uh, let's let's uh, copy that and let's paste it. Now let's come over here and let's put it in the center of that one. Now what I'm going to show you is before, like tag and or substitute, tag substitute, right? So I want to merely just come in here and do that. That's all I want to do. Come in here and tag substitute this for that tag right there. I'm going to replace it, and it's just that simple. Now if I do it again, come over here, and now I'll take this to the third one. And well, what I can do too is tag substitution and then take this one because it's, it's just changing axis numbers, right? Axis one, axis two, axis three. We're changing that to a three. So we're basically tag substituting. So it's really kind of a quick and easy thing if you wanted to get all of them in there. Really, I mean, it's, it's just simple as that is, right? Tag substitution, boom, done. And this would be a four four and that's done now we still want to kind of line these up and I'll show you we'll control and then we'll come up here and use our align tool if you don't know how to again use that align tool go to view you're gonna to go to your toolbars you're gonna to go to alignment this is where you get that align tool it's really cool really easy and that way you can align these things so that they're aligned properly so you see how that aligned okay so now we're gonna save and then we're going to go back to our screen. We're going to cycle our screen back and forth. And then we're going to come here and see all of those running. So you can kind of see it gives that extra little flair, gives an extra little thing that, you know, makes it look a little bit slightly different. So you can keep adding to stuff and making things look better. Um, again, this could obviously look a lot better than what it does. But again, I, what I'm trying to illustrate here is utilizing the tools that are already here in the, the process for you. Right, we could have took this one very well and took the little small one and blew it up. Right, or we can even try to take this and copy this, do the exact same thing we did, move everything out that we were talking about that we needed, right? Get rid of the stuff we don't need, blow these things up so we can actually come in here and, and take this and uh, change the size of it, right? change the size of it make sure they're the same size right so make sure they're the same size so what you want to do what you can do for that is you can come in here and say this and then uh, you could uh, look at your property panel and see you know the, the the height of it see that the group height is what 111 and then the left height and then the top height so the group height and the group width right so this is one so I'm looking at this and this, right? So this is 112 by 128 or 26. So we can actually change that. So if we're going to do that, we can make that, we can get them even if we wanted to is what I'm saying. So you don't have to sit here and guess and stretch and do this. So now we're gonna do this one, right? So we're gonna come in here, edit this one. Uh, we get the same thing here. See that it was pretty close. Actually, it was, it was really, really close. So we'll come in here and get that same width, come in here, and what we can do to verify these things, and this is the cool thing, is we can actually put that on top of here and see, so we can actually change this. So get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this. That's simple. Make sure this is about the same size. If we wanted to get it to, to the proper sizing, what we could do is again get this maybe maybe this is a, a one one thirty right and maybe this is a one thirty right so I'm, I'm showing you how to edit that right to get that the proper size and then we'll get this and get that the proper sizing as well 
So this is a 130, and this is a 130. Now, again, this at this point, you're going to have to change this center cap, this center cap right here, to get to a bigger point too. So this this needs to edit, right? So this needs to be from like I don't know. Let's just guess and say 30, and let's guess and say 30 right here. And that's pretty close, I'll be honest with you. So that's pretty close to the center. And we'll lay these on top of each other, and we're going to do the exact same thing we did before. See, so now we got that effect. So now we still need the tag and tag substitute, right? So we're still going to come in here, and we're still going to grab, well, we can just grab any of these. It doesn't matter which one. Actually, not sure what we're, we have some stuff going on over here, but let's uh, let's come over here and undo. Oh, I see what happened. Okay, so we drag this up here, and we want to make sure we get that lined up properly. Get the center lined up properly. So this is just a, a matter of you know lining the stuff up properly. Get one of these and then come over here and get the animation behind it. It doesn't matter which one we're going to do because we're going to tag substitute anyway, so we're going to edit. Okay, so we're going to come in here and edit both of these. One of these is going to be actually, we'll come in here and edit on top of each other. It's just that simple. Yeah, we'll edit on top of each other. So we'll have this, we'll come in here do this and we'll do tag substitute actually let's come in here pick that and do tag substitute and the blink slow would be changed with this tag right here and that is done two tags cool this copy paste actually I see what it did now so let's copy copy paste actually we grabbed the wrong one so let's make sure we're grabbing the right thing copy with control C control V paste this right here and get it lined up control V again get it lined up okay control V again get it lined up so I'm, I'm showing you again this is making your own graphics right so then we're going to come in here, we're going to pick this, we're going to change this. This is actually two, so that's good. We're going to come in here and change this to uh, a one because this is uh, obviously a one. So we're going to change the tag to one. Tag substitute, that, that's simple. This is going to be a three. So we're going to come in here, tag substitute to three. Okay, that's done. Good. And we're going to do this one a four. And then that way, we've taken that and we've actually changed the sizing. We've used uh, the uh, toolbar over here, the uh, property panel. And we're, we're actually utilizing the tools that we are meant to be used, right? So we're coming here. Now we're going to properly align this. We have our alignment tool. Come over here, properly align, alignment tool. Line these up. Hit save. Come over here and we actually have a problem which is not good but no big deal what we'll do is open our factory talk studio again and let's just open up studio again that will happen from time to time so we'll make sure we have studio open make sure we have our application and it may or may not have saved, um, but you know that is part of what we're doing, right? You can't never tell what happens when you're going to do these videos. So um, we're going to open this up and see what we what is if it took or if it didn't take, right? Because sometimes you get a, a cache where it, it says, "Okay, well I know what I did," and sometimes it completely loses its mind and loses what you did. But again, when it comes down to it, what I'll do is I'll speed this speed this up if I need to, and then control that, 
uh, back to so we're, where we get to the back to the same point. So this is control screen two. This is the same. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just change this real quick. What I'm going to do is I, I'm going to do the exact same thing I just did and then actually come back and show you the finished version so that you can see that actually running. We're going to speed the video up from here. Okay, so now we have everything started back up and we are going to check our status. So you can see everything is actually running and actually working as we have it. So, um, you know, and all these are, are actually running on the screen. So this is, we can change this to a stop and all these should stop, right? So you can actually see, now granted these look like big fans now, <laughs> don't get me wrong. These are just axis and we're, we're calling this we're looking at this like a like you would like a thread, right? So if when we originally did this project, we were talking about this is axis one, two, three, and four, and this would be like threading, um, like a line or or, or like say for instance like a paper or um, a knitting or some kind of something like that, right? Now where you're you're kind of you know you're just running and running a, a draw system or running an inline system that you want to change the draws on to keep the tension on a set you know, web or something like that. But in the instance of what we're doing here is we're just showing a graphical use of showing these things working, right? So we can even take the R lines out that we originally did and uh, change that. So, but you can see the way this works, right? You can see how functional and easy the, these things can work and, and how you can build your own graphics as quick as the matter of 10 minutes, you can just build your own graphics. Now, again, I'm probably not gonna keep this the way this is, I'm going to change it a little bit, but again, I just wanted to show you, as you've seen the last two videos, you can see exactly how to build your own graphics and own animation really, really quick and efficiently with Factory Talk View Studio. Now, again, this is Factory Talk 10, but again, it doesn't matter which one, and you actually seen it crash, right? And that was probably because um, I'm running a VM and I'm running multiple things at one time. I actually had like have an emulator running and I have a couple other things running. So that's probably why that happened. But in the same case, I wanted to show you how to do the actual animation and how to do that properly. So again, with this said, I uh, hope you gained a lot from this video and I hope you're really enjoying the progress. And if you haven't watched the videos where we built this stuff up, please go back and watch those videos. And uh, as always, again, I appreciate you watching and we'll see you guys on the next one.